Immunotherapy and immune oncology is a growing field. It has led to a tremendous amount of progress in patient care and in patient outcome. However, when we think of the current uh, drugs that exist in the market that are really making very great impact and a splash in this area, including the NTPD-1 and NTPDL-1, you know, at the end of the day, they're working in 15 to 30% of patients. So, 70 to 85% of patients do not respond to those drugs. And more importantly, lots of patients that respond, they recur. So the question, how can we enhance on this? And the answer to this is combination immunotherapy. Now, one of the issues about combination immune therapy is, of course, the price, because the, the price of those drugs currently is, is pretty well uh, above the 50, 60, 70, even $100,000 per year per patient, which means that we have to find ways to enhance on those therapies uh, that one, to be effective, and second, to be uh, of a price that's reasonable. So one thing we have to think about is standard therapy. And standard therapy could be either, either chemotherapy or immune therapy. And we know that some chemotherapy are immune modulators. They enhance the immune system. Case in point, cyclophosphamide. Now we know that low-dose cyclophosphamide, which is a very non-expensive drug, can lead to enhancement, major enhancement, major improvement in immune therapeutic uh, um, approaches and immune therapeutic outcome. One of the others is radiation therapy. Now, we have radiation therapy, we've used radiation therapy for 70, 80 years to treat cancer. But now we know that, immunotherapy, uh, that uh, radiation therapy can be utilized when given on a tumor to generate not only a local effect, since it has been used as a local therapy for the past 70 to 80 years, but it could be a systemic effect.